Market conditions shifting to mildly bearish in this bull market. The bull market rank is currently sitting around 22.43. As mentioned in past videos, that is as extreme as it has been in years, two or three, uh, I should say three or four times in the last 10 years. Definitely uh, at an area that is unsustainable. Starting to see some weakness here in the markets as well. We'll take some uh, time to look over some additional charts and some additional perspectives this morning. We've seen momentum shift back into this range bound. We've also seen breadth shift pretty aggressively yesterday. We'll look at the buy-sell ratio and also seen sentiment shift right here. We saw uh, buy-sell ratio have quite a spike yesterday, popped lower now 0.41. So remember, if we're less than one, then we've got red above green right here. So now you can see that widening of the buy-sell ratio right here. This has been an interesting rally for the really the bulk of this year has been relatively light in terms of uh, in terms of participation and breadth, whereas this is a normal perspective and the width that we typically see. And this is what's been happening right here towards the upper upper end of that range. And that is something that we have talked about and we know about this rally is that we have we haven't had real wide participation, large participation. It's been a handful of stocks, primarily large mega cap tech stocks. Uh, we're seeing sentiment melt down here a little bit as well. Let's take a look at that number. We're sitting at 44. Remember that 50 number was one of the numbers that I've been talking about right here across the board. This indicator also acts at, with support and resistance at those areas. So now we're seeing a breakdown of sentiment there as well. We're also seeing uh, a lot of issues in the bond market, as we've been discussing now for the last couple of weeks, where we've seen TLT move lower. We've got another move lower yesterday in TLT. Remember what happens when that's going on is interest rates are going higher as the bond market is dropping. We don't want that to happen, neither does the stock market or equity market. Uh, in anticipation with inflation continued to be higher and the Fed can't, they can't lower interest rates right here. So we may be stuck with these higher interest rates. That is what the market's gotta digest uh, this week is, what, is how that's going to look. We saw short-term bonds also really get beat up yesterday, massive move lower. That's Again, that's the opposite of what we wanna see. What we wanna see we have the bond, the bond yield curve. We need to see that corrected. In this case, that shorter uh, that SHY trade, when that is going down, it, that means short-term interest rates are going higher. And the, again, that is that's kind of anti-equities right here. Although the equity market has been brushing that off, it's got to be dealt with. Uh, right here. So can, uh, keep your eye on that bond market. We're seeing sector ETFs have a pretty big crack in the number of buys and sells. And now we can kind of see what the current trend is. We're, we're stuck with energy, okay? And that's about it right here. Energy and basic materials uh, and utilities leading that crowd just a little bit here. Everything else we're seeing uh, uh, sell off right here. Real estate, healthcare, consumer uh, services, and commodities rallying right here. We've seen oil have this real big, nice run up into that upper momentum zone. We're seeing Silver do the same thing. We're also seeing gold, which we've been talking about, having a nice rally. And we're seeing some other commodities as well. We've talked about uh, steel uh, as well recently, having a, up in that upper momentum zone now with steel. And uh, so commodities also working to that upper direction. Now, when you're looking at the muscle ETF group, again, that's a quick way to kind of look to see what in, is the current trend or what are current trends. You're seeing uranium and junior miners also popping and keep an eye on those this week. URNM is an interesting ETF that you're seeing some strength in, uh, in mining based material stocks. Another interesting perspective to look at is when we look at indices. Now, when we talk about the weakness of the market and we look at these index scans and we spend a lot of time going over buy, sell, ratio because that's really the breadth of the market the participation now look what happened to the S&P buy sell ratio okay those numbers we've been talking about now it's dipped it's it's switched to the other side 154 with some here in the in the hold range and so that's a that's a tipping of power it's a tipping of balance towards the downside we're seeing that here in uh, the buy sell ratio also and then with sectors there's an interesting thing happening with these buy sell ratios here 
you've got oil and energy at three and you've got basic materials at three okay so three to one three to one look what happened to construction okay seven it's gone all the way down so even though this rank is still ranked number one it's because the bulk the average uh, uh, the average stock in that group is still relatively high and so it's going to be fun this is a little bit slower moving scale so those are interesting that's what the market is is really eyeing based on this inflation issue is the going into oil and energy and going into base material okay stuff that goes up in value commodities stuff that is dug out of the ground okay those are the things that are uh, that the market is moving over into currently we're also seeing s p 500 let's jump over here and look at that pattern in terms of just pivot points and support resistance locations we're hovering right on that point that we talked about yesterday is this support area we want to watch on spy that 506 because what's starting to happen is this rounding type of process that we haven't seen we haven't haven't seen a deep enough retracement to really uh, set up a, a bounceable location, a support area. We could have a retracement all the way back to the 236. Again, this is S&P 500 with, and still have it be a retracement in an overall uptrend. Okay, but that's getting uh, starting to weaken here. We, where we're seeing things across the board starting to weaken, um, uh, we want to be aware of that. Now, what does that mean in terms of protecting yourself from downsides there's there's really three things to do number one you can be fully in cash uh, to that's you know that's going to be paying a short-term interest rate number two is you can have smaller positions in equities and you can be gearing towards some of those price patterns that are working some of those areas that are working like gold for example hmy is one that we have in the portfolio currently that's a gold stock moving higher so as you're watching that new buy list and seeing things that are starting to work keep an eye on that etf list as well if the individual stock you may not be able to find something that is working look at the ETF so that you can focus on a group because you may see something here like inverse treasuries that TLT trade that we talked about this is what it look, looks like from the opposite direction if bonds are going down TBT which is 2x inverse to the negative if bonds go down okay then this ETF is going to go up and so you can see what happened yesterday so there are ways to be able to be long certain patterns and certain positions and certain ideas through inverse ETFs as well it's a really easy way to do it same with oil and energy right here you're seeing these 2x direction with oil and gas okay so opportunities there as well on the downside with the inverse without having to go short uh, and also without having to go fully into cash, there are ways to be able to uh, easily be long something that's going to go up when the market goes down. That'll do it for today's update. Everyone have a fantastic day today.